Okay, guys, I'm about to make this delicious cream cheese frosting. Um, this is how I make mine. People make it different, but I always use Land O'Lakes butter, two sticks, Philadelphia cream cheese, um, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, and then this is the only um, powdered sugar that I use. Everybody, as a baker, you choose whatever you want to choose for your ingredients, but these are the ingredients that I use to make my um, cream cheese frosting. Now, one thing I do if I'm baking like for a three or four layer cake, like uh, for instance, red velvet cake, I'll use two sticks of um, cream cheese and then two butters. But just like to frost these um, cinnamon rolls, I'm gonna just use two sticks of Land O'Lakes butter, uh, eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then four cups of powdered sugar. Okay, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so now the first thing I do, I put my two sticks of butter in. As you can see, I have my whisk attachment, whisk attachment, whisk attachment right here. And I whisk my butter for about five to eight minutes. I whisk this butter until it gets like creamy, like a ice cream look, a pale look to it. So I'm going to uh, put my whisk in here in our bowl and I'm going to start mixing it and let me say this before I start because I forgot to mention to you all the way I do my cream cheese frosting with butter I don't let my butter get all the way softened I sit it out about an hour and that's all because you don't want uh, um, like a smooth you don't want a smushy type frosting you want a fluffy frosting so i only sit my butter out about an hour before i start um to cream it together for the frosting okay so let's start here see how it's sounding if you know that it's not all the way soft and we want to let it mix for about five to eight minutes until it gets to that desired consistency that i'm looking for so when it gets to that i'll show you all butter to look like, okay? Can y'all see that? Let me push this up some. That's what we want our butter to look like. Look at that. Look at that creamy, looks like ice cream. That's the look that you're looking for, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is put my package of cream cheese in, okay? And we're going to mix that together, okay? We're going to mix that together for about four minutes, okay? Let's just get it in there like that first. And then speed it up a little. Making sure it combines. And then I'm going to turn it up some. And I'm going to mix it together for two minutes. And then I'm going to wipe down the side. And then I'll mix it together for two more minutes. And I'll bring it back and show it to you. Okay. Now our cream cheese is mixed with our butter. Get it all mixed up in there together like that. Now I'm going to pour in two teaspoons. Let me turn my mixer down a little so it won't flesh, flesh up on me. But I'm going to pour in about two teaspoons of vanilla. Mix that round up in there like that. That. And now I'm gonna go ahead on and put start putting. Let me show you what I did. I went ahead on and sifted my four cups of uh, confectioner's sugar, Domino's confectioner's sugar, and now we're gonna put uh, those four cups in here. Okay. Okay. 
like that. Put it some more in. So that's all I'm going to do is just continue to put my um, sugar in and mix it well together. When I have it all mixed in, I'll bring you guys back and show you the final product. Okay. That's it. Our cream cheese frosting is red. I want y'all to see what it looks like when I lift it up off of this whisk. Look, look at it. Look at it. That's what you want right there. That is what you want. For your frosting to look like okay can y'all see it i'm gonna put it in a bowl and show you exactly what it looks like and we're going to put it on our cinnamon rolls when they come out of the oven okay but this is our cream cheese frosting this is the cream cheese frosting let me take it off of the whisk attachment and show you see how thick it is can you see the thickness of it that's what you want you want that thickness that rich creamy thickness to your cream cheese frosting okay that's what we want that thickness still on there okay all right so that's our cream cheese frosting homemade cream cheese frosting there it is homemade cream cheese frosting when I pull the uh, cinnamon rolls out, I'll show you all we'll frost them. Hold your horses. <laughs>